Hello everyone. Okay, so the next logical operator is the not logical operator. And it's actually spelt as an English word not. Okay. So the not logical operator takes a Boolean expression and it reverses the truth of it. If the Boolean expression results to true, it changes it to false. If the Boolean expression results to false, it changes it to, it changes it to true. So let's see an example. I'm going to assume I'm going to assume a user's age, okay, in a variable. So I'm going to create the variable, I'm going to call it user age. And I'm going to set it equal to 14 as an example. And also I'm going to declare as a named constant an adult age. Okay, by default, when you're naming your your named constants, you want to create them as uppercase characters. If it's more than one word, you separate them with underscores. I made a video about named constants, so you can you know take a look at it. So I'm going to set it equal to 18. So if you are 18 or above, according to this question, you're considered an adult, right? I'm going to create an if statement to say that if you if the user's age okay is greater than or equal to the adult age. If your user's age is greater than or equal to the ad adult age, then you're an adult, right? So let's print out a message saying that you're an adult. You're an adult. Else, then you're not an adult. So let's print out a message saying that you're not an adult. Okay, so we understand this. If the user's age is greater than or equal to the adult age, you're an adult. 14 in this case is not greater than or equal to an adult age, so we're expecting you're not an adult to run. When I run the program, or to, you're not, we're expecting you're not an adult to be printed. And we can see it says you're not an adult because 14 is not greater than or equal to adult age. All right, so let's change this to about 19. Run the program, and it says you're an adult because this pro this line here will run only if the user age is greater than or equal to the adult age. 19 is greater than or equal to the adult age, so it says you're an adult. So we already understand this. Okay, now I'm going to surround the Boolean expression with parentheses. The entire Boolean expression to parentheses and place the not logical operator in front of it. All right, so now this reads as if the user's age is not greater than or equal to the adult age, right? If the user's age is not greater than or equal to the adult age, that's how it re it's read. In that case, if if the user's age is not greater than or, or greater than or equal to the adult age, then you're not an adult. So let's print out the message saying then you're not an adult. Else, that means you're an adult, right? Okay, so let's change this back to 14. All right, so if the user's age is not greater than or equal to the adult age, then you're not an adult. This this message here will run only if the user's age is not greater than or equal to the adult age. So let's check. 14 indeed is not greater than or equal to the adult age. So it's going to say you're not an adult. So um, that's what we expected. So let's run the program, and it says you're not an adult because 14. It's it's true that okay. It's true that 14 is not greater than or equal to the adult age, and that's why I printed this. Let's change it back to nine. Let's change it to 19. Run the program, and it says you're an adult, right? Because this statement again here will print only if the user's age is not greater than or equal to the adult age. But here is the case, the user's age is greater than or equal to the adult age. So this won't run. This will run only if the user's age is not greater than or equal to the adult age. But for the user's age is greater than or equal to the adult age. So we are going to, your program is going to print you're an adult. That's why we are seeing you're an adult here. Now it's important to surround the entire Boolean expression with, with parentheses if you want to figure out, to check, to check to see if the not version or the negation of this Boolean expression is true. Okay, if you don't surround the entire Boolean expression with parentheses, then it's going to do something else. It's going to find the negation. If you don't have the parentheses, then it's going to find a negation of whatever is stored in this variable if it, if it evaluates to true or false. And we'll talk more about that going forward. They're called Booleans, variables that can store true or false. Don't worry too much about it. But if you want to um, find or check to see if this is true, if the negation or the <coughs> or the not version of this Boolean expression is true, then you want to make sure you surround the entire Boolean expression with parentheses. So just make sure you, you have the parentheses there around the entire Boolean expression. So that's it. That's all about a, not a logical operator. It, re it reverses the truth of a Boolean expression here. In the next video, we're going to see an example program of um, how it plays out. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.